What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And your girl, Dre Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Mind. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thought. We got a guest today. We got a guest today. Hey. And I am so excited. I'm excited, too. I feel like it's going to be a good episode. It's going to be a great episode. Wow. Wow. Um, y'all see who's on the couch and if the beat live, you, you know, know little Juke, baby. Y'all know what's going down, man. Okay. It's like I automatically want to say body, yada, 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 yada. Okay, yaddy, I'm yaddy. gonna ask you that. When you hear and if the beat live, you know, little Juke, baby, what song do you think? For of? sure, body. body. Okay, For sure. I think hands on my knee, nigga, and on my Okay. Oh, yeah. Knee. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. It's so, it's so, so it is it's so many. So many. So, I I need to jump into it because okay, we sure. have a lot to talk about today. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm excited. You know, I appreciate y'all having me here. Of so. course. Of course. So I, it's not a secret. The listeners know I'm a hottie. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, a yeah. big, big yeah. hottie. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't play. <laughs> so I'm so happy to have you here because so, I'm so ready to get into like y'all's creative process because y'all are really like a force to be reckoned. A with. dream mm -hmm. team. But I want to start from the beginning. From the I love to start from the top. So mm -hmm. talk. Talk mm -hmm. about whenever you knew, like, you know what? I'm really good at making beats, and I can do this for a living. Okay, so I was in band. Okay. I was in band in middle school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, played the drums, xylophone, triangle. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? All the, all the little, anything you huh. could hit. I was I was up there like I you love know what I'm when I find I was out there. people was in a band. I used to be in a band too. I was, but I was I was only in like the beginner stages of band because oh, I knew okay. once I got to high school, band wasn't gonna give me no hope. Yeah. Ooh. So I, I got out of yeah, bed. Okay. I heard the band girls were the freaks, though. I mean, but I didn't want no band girls. I want the cheerleader or okay. the, you know what I'm saying? I didn't okay. want the band girls. But okay. I feel like it depends on what school you went to. Because there's certain schools in Houston where, like, if you was in a band in high school, you were still getting a hoe. Oh, no. I went to DeSoto. Like, it wasn't, no disrespect. For yeah. Me. <laughs> but I went to DeSoto. Like, we weren't really, like, known for band. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's more fair. sports, like. Okay, that makes sense. that's cool. So you play, you play instruments mm -hmm. growing up, mm -hmm. you, and that's when you figured out you were musically inclined. Yeah, I was musically inclined. I used to tap dance when I was a kid. Like, for real? Yeah. I, wish I, I did, too. I Can probably got a, a picture a in, my, in my phone somewhere. I, I, I've been sitting at a computer so long, my knees, like, I used, <laughs> I used to be dugging and everything. I used to be the one dugging and everything, but my okay. knees kind of hurt now, but, but you used to I ain't got to make it easy. I ain't got to make it easy. Okay, oh, you don't okay. got to make it Damn, okay, okay. But, hey, I used to tap dance. That's... I'm, I used to tap. Okay, come on now. Give me a second. Y'all. I used to take dance. Mm -hmm. And I'm not lying. I was really good at tap. So was I. You know I tap dance in Miami last year on my birthday for everybody, and they were really impressed. Yeah, but I, I don't... Okay, I wouldn't say that. You, I wouldn't, everybody was I wouldn't impressed. Impressed? You, impressed Ali, is a stretch. Uh, who else was there? Impressed Ali? is a stretch. Tapping. I friend. was, but I was like... Okay. Where the, where the video is? Where the, but it was, I'm gonna show you okay. the video. Okay. Mind you, okay. she didn't okay. have no tap shoes on. She was barefoot. And she still had though. And she, but guess what? If she wasn't impressed, we went to London recently. And yeah. She was like, "Legs tap dance." So I was like, "Not right now." Well, because I wanted to laugh. Okay. No. Okay. That's <laughs> but going I can on. tap dance. But, but no, Lex has showed me a few times the dance that she used to do. It's that one song, though. Do you what? know how to do any other... All you people, can't you see? Yeah. Can't you see? That's the tap dance I remember mm -hmm. from my recital that okay. we used to tap dance to. And I remember it like yesterday. I'm going to show you afterwards. She's going to show you the I'm ready. I'm ready. And I'm going to teach you. Maybe we can do it yeah, together. Yeah, no, I, 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 I got it. I remember a little shuffle, yeah, a little... Okay. For lap ball change, I, I remember that stuff. I remember that stuff. I remember okay, that so stuff. a duet is never, crazy. You know, things started being like you started making beats for people. Like, talk about the first beat you ever made. So the first beat I ever made, my boy Josh, just like one of my best friends, he showed me the software that I used to make beats. Uh -huh. Um, I remember like it was yesterday. This was summer two thousand and eight. The Carter Three had just leaked. Okay. Before it dropped, I remember we was listening to it at his house. He was like, bro, I got this little software that you can make beats on the computer. And I'm like, you make beats on the computer? Like, what you talking about? So mm -hmm. he fiddled around with it. He didn't really know what he was doing for real. I got on there. He went to go make some noodles or whatever he was doing in the back room. <laughs> he come back. I got a beat rocking. 
And right then and there, I took that shit home and I'm like, I'm gonna get rich and famous off this. I oh, told you my, know, the first beat. The very first beat I made, the very first day I picked that shit up, I said, I'm gonna get rich and famous. This is what I'm gonna do with my life. Mm, I like, love literally, that. Literally. I That's love that. Dope. And that was 2008. Like, That's crazy. Okay, so how did you and Meg's relationship come about? Yeah. Okay, so I was the main producer at 1501, the label that she was signed uh -huh. for in Houston that like she had all the problems with. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I've been working with T. Ferris, her manager. I've been working with him since like 2012, 2013. He used to tell mm -hmm. me all the time, little bro, stay down. It's going to be your turn soon. It's going to be your turn mm -hmm. soon. Um, 2017, they started 1501, him and Carl Crawford, and shit, I was the first producer that Ferris called. Yeah. So I'm working with, like, all the artists on 1501 before they signed Megan. Mm -hmm. They signed Megan. Other producers not really taking her serious for real in the city. Mm -hmm. DJ Chose, was, he was there for sure in, mm -hmm. in, the, in the beginning stages, and she had a, a producer named MCV. He was from, like, Indiana or something like that. So okay. literally, I just locked in with her, like... I would come to the studio and do my job, like, and we just, like... The chemistry was there. But yeah. it was, like, the first day. So, the first day, the first song we made was Tina Montana. Oh, That's the song okay. on uh, Tina Snow. Yeah. That's the very first... Oh, damn. That was the okay. very I first song we made. Tina Snow now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, Tina Snow, I made five of the songs. Okay. Yeah, Tina Snow, ten, ten tracks, I made five of them. I made Big Ol' Freak, Tina Montana, um, Never... Well, yeah, I do that, Big Ol' Freak. The song with uh, Moneybag Yo and... um. Freak Nasty. Okay. Oh, Freak Nasty Ooh, used freak to be nasty. my song. Yeah, yeah. A hit. A yeah, hit, yeah. if okay. I ever heard one. But, okay, so I'm going to get a little messy because I am messy yeah. now. Uh, but the other artists that were on 1501, did you ever, did you have like good chemistry with them as well? Or was it kind of like you were always like vibe, like leaning towards her? Or was it like other people that you were like, hey, we make good music together I'm just too. naturally good at making beats. Mm. Okay. Even though I built that chemistry with her, I mm -hmm. can go do that with anybody because yeah. I'm just, when somebody tells me what they want, I've just been making beats for so long, like I yeah. can do it with my eyes closed and my hands tied behind my back. You yeah. know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it was like that with everybody, but ours was just like different. It was like, different. Cause every time, with them, we'll make like five songs, one or two of them be good, but with her, boom, first one good, boom, second one good, yeah. boom, third one good, boom, fourth one good, mm -hmm. and it was it just kept going like that. I'm running through your nigga house like, like a tomb writer. You gotta pass around, nigga. He a hot potato. You know what I'm saying? A I word. Y'all be in the studio. Y'all be like, like, we did it like, again. Yeah, like, like it, it's really insane. It's like it feel like it's too easy sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But it's really not because I worked so long to get to this point to make it easy. Mm -hmm. But when I'm in there with her, well, she been a little difficult on this last album. I ain't gonna lie. But really? Why? Wow. Just so this is the first album that so. Fever and Tina Snow, that's when we was really like locked in. That's yeah, before yeah. she blew all the way up. Mm -hmm. yeah, Once yeah. she blew up, I say from Good News, or no, from Sugar, mm -hmm. with, with Captain Hook and shit on there, mm. to the new album, we really ain't been able to just like lock all the way in because yeah. she's an international superstar now. Yeah. She yeah. been on so much. She be in New York, she be in Japan, she mm -hmm. be in Miami, she be in well, LA. You know what I'm saying? She be <laughs> everywhere. So we know, we know. I couldn't really keep up with her. And I'm trying to also do my own thing, even though I am her producer. Right. Yeah. Also, like, trying to branch out. Y'all know it's on Beyonce album. Hey! You know what I'm saying? Y'all know it's on Beyonce album. award winning producer. Hey. Hey. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like, stop playing. So, I'm trying to do my own thing, too, but at the yeah. same time, stay true to, like, who was there from the beginning. And that sound, too. Yep. Right. Exactly. She gotta have that sound. Exactly. Like, she, yeah. can't, she can't drop an album. Without, Without me on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was gonna ask you who, who else would you like to work with, but I feel like after Beyonce. Like, what? It, but like, who is somebody else that you would love to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Bruno Mars. Okay. Ooh. Bruno Mars. So I'm a really old school, like, I listen to the new music a little bit, but I'm really like a 2000s and back. Uh -huh. Like, the, literally, the year 2000 and back, if I show you my playlist, okay. it's all old music. Like, I'm an old soul, Michael Jackson, my favorite mm -hmm, artist mm -hmm. ever, so mm -hmm. I want to work with Bruno Mars, because he just got that old flavor. But you know, he, he like do. them horns. Yeah, yeah. No, I you got know, all you, you can do that now. Yeah, I can do you all know, that. He love a little horn the, now. The, the new Jack swing, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, all that, like, I know how to do Baby, all that. he love a trumpet bit. And, yes. and he love a little drum. Yeah. 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 He got to do them little hips. But that's what I'm saying, like, I, that's why with Megan, like, we came with the dance music. People wasn't mm -hmm. dancing. I ain't gonna say people weren't dancing yeah. they before Megan, but... They 
But let she me, made we it brought it fun again. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, I work. I work in the club. Yeah. Okay, so let me tell y'all. I don't think I've ever told this story before. What? Let's hear it. I worked Let's hear it. at Dreams. Yeah. Okay. Everybody Dreams. know Dreams. So you know Bishop. I know everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Meg used to be in the dressing room because she was best friends with this stripper named Red. Yep. I remember Back Red. In, yes. I remember Red. So Meg used to be in the dressing room all the time. And you know, like I'm running back and forth. I used to work upstairs. The dressing room was upstairs. Mm -hmm. And I used to always be like looking at her. I'm like, well, I'm like, why is she sitting here? Like, is you gonna dance? But R. she R. wasn't a dreams. dancer. Mm -hmm. And I would be like, what is she doing? And I remember her, fir her first video that went kind of viral when she was on the rooftop freestyling. I'm like, oh, yeah. I work at that. Like, yep, yep, like yep, whatever she yep, was saying. Yep, yep. And I was like, oh, that's the girl from the dressing room. I'm like, oh, she hard. Yeah. So it's like, it's just so crazy to see the, the progression. But I remember because I'm in the strip club, I'm hearing the music that they playing. Mm -hmm. The girls was not twerking like that. They wasn't. Like, she brought twerking back. She I feel like twerking, twerking was real popular. Twerking was dead for like it six does. or seven years. You know why? It was. No offense, because I love her now. People got against twerking because they felt like Molly Cyrus... Yes. Yeah. Molly Cyrus. 2013, when, when yes. she was doing when the When she was the doing Jordan that, people like, yeah. that shit, like, They was mad at Mike, Will, and Miley because they were like, mm. Miley, we been twerking. So people started banning twerking. Because Miss Twerk something was like a word. Oh, Miss Twerk something. I mean, she twerking. never stopped, but, but she I'm, was on her she own. She was since Bill Clinton but was that's in what office, I'm saying. bitch. She, she never was... stopped, but then <laughs> Meg brought it back. She made it cool. She again. did, because mm -hmm. honestly, like I said, this is no offense to Miley, but Miley is so good at country music. Mm -hmm. Her voice is made for that. Leave but she was trying away. to find herself. So she yeah. did. And the Mike Will joint album they did was fire. Like, I liked the, a few songs, but people were so mad. So we had stopped twerking. Yeah. We was done with twerking. Meg brought that shit on. She hey, did. let's bring let's it bring, back. Let's bring twerking back. Is it love? Is it love? Yeah. She said, let me see them knees work. <laughs> hey, and my knees don't start popping. <laughs> hey, my knees do not work. Mm -mm. Mine work for a little bit. No, your knees work. They need a little oil, a little Well, herbal. I mean, what was that, five years ago? I'm sure five years ago, they was a little more oiled up. You know what I'm they saying? Was, when, when they was. Y'all was definitely getting okay. this work on okay. when they Big Old Freak came out. They was. <laughs> okay, but you, let, 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 let's get into some story time. Okay. I told my story time how I used to see Meg. You said you had a story time for us. Okay, yeah. And I have, me and you have been following each other for a long time. Mm -hmm. And let me say this. I feel like a lot of times people look at, like, poor minds. They're like, oh, y'all grown. And I'm like, but to watch mm -hmm. you and follow you and see, like, I really witnessed it. Like, I've been following you for so, I followed you, uh, we've been following each other for a while. Yeah, wait, mm -hmm. before oh, me. Before, before me. Before yeah. Man. I've been, because y'all know I used to think I could sing. So I was like, oh, <laughs> Erica, producer, I'm finna get in the stool. <laughs> <laughs> So, talk, tell us a story time, because you said... Okay, so I got a story time for you okay, guys. Okay, so come on, come on, give it to me. In 2013, 2014, I worked at Papa John's Pizza in Houston, mm -hmm. off Main Street, by Target, you okay. know what I'm saying, by NRG, you know what I'm saying, a little situation over there. If you hood, you, you if know, if you know yeah. Holly Hall, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> if, if, if you know, you know, that's, that's a little... Sector of Houston, it that's is. you know what I'm saying. They got the white folks over here a little bit, mm -hmm. but they got that one little strip where the black folks. And let me, right? Heidi and me and Dre met over there. We met the in work. the same parking lot of here. Where y'all worked at over there? Uh, prime time. Prime time. Oh, okay. yeah, Remember yeah, prime yeah, time was yeah, open for a little bit. That's where we, we, that's where we met. That's we was crazy. both bartending there. That's crazy. We all got a soft main story. <laughs> period. <laughs> <laughs> so I worked at Papa John's, right? And I was the del delivery driver, mm. so. Like I said, we've we been following each other on social media yeah. for, for a while now. So, you know what I'm saying? I seen y'all. I seen how Poor Minds came from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Effort, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, this is before Poor Minds. Before right. Poor Minds. So, yeah. one day I had a delivery to an apartment complex. And I went to the apartment complex. And guess who opens the door? Lex P. This lady right here. And I'm like, oh, my God, follow her. But I ain't really. I was kind of. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You're a beautiful woman. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was a little, and I'm in pizza, I'm in Papa John's gear. I, I can't really, you know what I mean? I'm in Papa John's gear, so. Yeah. You a hardworking man. I gave her the pizza. I don't even, I, I don't remember if you gave me a tip or not. I don't, I don't remember that. Times is hard. 
<laughs> Man, my apartment, I don't remember I was, that. That was my first luxury apartment, too. Yeah. For real? Like, back then, like, the apartment, like, if you looked at it now, you would probably be like, uh, but then that was like... I passed it recently. But the apartment they, was they still nice. Still nice. Still, I feel like still, that's still, when still, I still, met still, you. Yeah, 83, 83 El Mundo. That's where I used to live. And I remember, like, passing up that apartment. I'm a manifester. I used to pass up that apartment. I'm, I'm going to live there. And so when I moved in there, but that was when I, like, that was my first. It wasn't my first big girl apartment because mm -hmm. my mom was still paying half of it, but I had to pay rent. Mm -hmm. So if I didn't tip you, my bad, bro. Nah, it's all good. It's all good because I... I might have put a dollar on there when I got back to the store anyways. Hey, and I checked because I was probably <laughs> drunk. I used to be adding his own to Hey, if somebody didn't give me a tip, I'm coming back to the store and putting a dollar yeah, on. So You're not going to realize that a dollar is missing. But was I'm, I nice to you? I mean... He was nice. He was okay, definitely I was nice. nice. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You signed a little receipt and this shit. I went about my day. But I just always remember that because I, I got a photographic memory to remember. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Like, I do too. I, I swear, like, I feel like I have a photographic memory, but I do not remember, remember that. But I will say this to you. This is... A a testament of your character mm -hmm. because you know how many times people have dropped off food to my house mm -hmm. and they've been weird afterwards yeah. like oh I follow you oh I know who you mm -hmm. are I literally mm -hmm. recently had to move from my apartment yeah. in Atlanta to another apartment because of people delivering my food and being weird after they mm -hmm. left so that just shows I trust I trust my yeah. girl Meg around you yeah, for sure because for you sure. know I'm a hottie yeah hey. I, I feel like know. hotties are very protective of me. Of they me. are, but they you, got, you got to know, I, I've been here from the ground. From the you know what I'm saying? Like when, when you know what I'm saying? Not to get sentimental. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, you, but you know what I'm saying? When Meg, grandma and her mother died, yeah. it's literally me and Meg in the hospital and she's literally like in my arms. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we we like yeah. that. Like that. Yeah. Our bond is like that. And you know what? I will say that because like losing somebody and we've both been through It's a that, tough spot. It to is be a in. tough position yeah. to be in. So I think that just says a, a testament of your character because we've seen a lot of people as being like fans. We're on the outside looking in. So it, it, it's a testament to who you are because she's had a lot of people come and go but she always if, if the beat going nowhere. live you know Lil Ju. And I, <laughs> and I fuck with Lil Ju because I may or may not have Added a dollar on my receipts as well. Back yeah, no, for sure. But, but let's talk about how it all is scammers. No, let's talk about the growth because now we ain't got to do that no more. I, ain't, I don't need that dollar no more. I'm giving that dollar. that dollar out. Okay. I'm giving that dollar out. A dollar plus more. Yeah, a dollar I'm plus sure. more. Now, I'm not done getting the tea. Mm hmm. Dre, can I, can, I, can I get into it? You can. You can. Go ahead. Let's talk about the Beyonce. Okay. Yeah. I got to get into the Beyonce because okay. we. We love Beehive. I'm, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a hottie. But Beehive. But the Beehive. Be but I'm a Beehive person. Okay. I think Meg it's Beehive, then a hottie. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yes. So let's talk about I'm not about mad at that. Okay. I'm not, I'm not mad I think at that. It's, I think that's how it is I'm for Meg, yeah. too. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. So how did how did that connection come about? Okay, so I worked with a writer named Inc. Mm -hmm. in L.A. She's a big writer out there. She worked with Beyonce a lot, but she worked with a lot of different people. So mm -hmm. we had a session, um, and we made Thick. Uh, we weren't even making that for Beyonce. We was just, we made like a good like three or four reference tracks that night, and I say maybe like two weeks after that night, he texts me the B emoji. I'm like, what the hell does this mean? She's like, send, send the uh, stems, like, you know what I'm saying? That's like the beat. Like in separately, mm. it was like sitting that. So I sent it. That was 2020. We made the song in 2020. You know the shit that come out to 2022. Yeah. But so made that in 2020. So I didn't think it was real. Like I don't never get my hopes up no yeah, more yeah, because yeah. with being a producer, it's like we we shoot so many in the dark shots mm. that you don't know which one you gonna make until you hear the net swish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and I say that like until the paperwork come. But we've also done. Songs where the paperwork came and it still didn't come out. So oh. like it's it's just like a waiting game slash probability game slash luck. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I had that one song with Beyonce. Like I said, oh. uh, the Ink, the writer, she sent the song Beyonce. I sent the track outs. We was waiting, 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 waiting. And then I got a random text from Parkwood manager. Oh, this is the same thing that TS said. In 2022. And they said, is this Liz you made to be? I don't remember. Uh, oh, I can't think of uh, the manager right now. I can't think of their name. Shout out That's to them. It's like, this Liz you made to be. I need you to come up to the Parkwood office in LA. We got a song to play for you. I'm like, damn, this shit was real. I thought it was fake. Did you cry? Did you cry a little bit? No, I didn't cry. I didn't cry. Because I was like, damn. I'm like, damn. This I made it. Like, Beyonce? 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah. let me tell y'all something about how I feel. Because I'm a music head. Yeah. I feel like if you work with Michael Jackson while he was alive, yeah. you have something on your resume that can never be taken away from For you, sure. right? And right under that... It's Beyonce. It's Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said, that's why it's like, to me, it's like that I made it moment. Yes. Like, of course, you had did a lot before then, yes. but it's like, what the fuck? Like, yes, I'm so on a, get a Grammy. crack with Beyonce. That's what yes. I'm saying. How did you feel when you got the call about the Grammy nomination? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I cried. I, that's I when, I, that's when I cried. cried. That's I'm when like, I cried. Tears come. That's when I, I cried. That's when I cried. But you also, cried. when we was at the Grammys, you know what I'm saying? I'm up in the Sony... Uh, uh, sweet, sweet. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? They say Beyonce wins the electric dance out best, mm. you whatever. Mm. And I'm, I call, I immediately call my mama. Yeah, like everybody in there screaming and shit. They're like, listen, I call my mama. I call my mama. I'm crying. I'm like, mama, I did it. Bro. Oh like, my god, it was, you it was so crazy. Cry. Cause, cause. I'm not gonna say my mama and them, they didn't believe in me, but my mama is a very Christian woman. Like, okay. I, grew, I grew up going to church. Yeah. Every time the church doors was open. Yeah. So my mama, like, she wanted me to have the college life, you know what I'm saying? Go cubicle yeah. job and, you know, American dream, white picket mm -hmm. fence. And I just didn't see that for myself. Like, I used to go to work with her as a kid. I'm like, damn, this, this what you do to, like, pay the bills? She, yeah. She born as hell? Like, right. That's what I'm thinking in my head as a yeah. kid. I'm like, hell no. This ain't, mm -mm. Yeah. I'm going to be an astronaut or something. Like, I can't. <laughs> No, I cannot right. do this right here. So I did everything in my power to get there. But like I said, I called my mama and I just like let it all out to mm. her on the phone because she was like, it's not that we didn't believe in you. It's just like being a producer is a far-fetched dream. Yes. Like, this is a one in a million chance. Like yeah. I'm saying for it the way I did it. Like anybody could be a producer. Anybody can get like one little placement here and there. But Back to back, to back, back to back, back to back, back consecutively. Back to back to back. Yeah. Every single single that me and Meg have out is a hit. Is either gold or platinum. Mm -hmm. Like every single one. But and, and can I say this too? I am tired of the people being like, "Oh, this is not a hit because it didn't do numbers." Do you know how many hood anthems we got? That didn't do numbers, but in the hood, we know that shit word for word. In the hood is but a hit. I don't give a fuck. That's it's all that really matter at the end of the day is, is the hood and the people. Like, yeah, that's but our I'm, culture. That's what I'm yeah. saying. And I'm not moving the goalposts. That's for any artist. Lil Wayne, Nicki, Dre. It's so many. Jeezy. Yep. Jeezy is the king of having a hood anthem, but it didn't chart. A strip club anthem. Yep. A strip. For sure. Uh, Hey. But I think that's why so many people say sometimes that the bigger artists get, that's why they start to say that some of these awards don't matter as mm -hmm. much because yeah. it matters the impact. It matters how many people it touched, how many people actually listen to the song. Like, the accolades are cool, but it's about mm. the trenches. Yeah. Like, who who really in the hood listening to these We only real? want the accolades because it just feel like... Right. You know what I'm saying? You like, want it like, because of your hard work. Yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah, time yeah. you put in and yeah. the effort you put in. Exactly. I like that. Mm. Exactly. So before we move on, because we've been chatting. Oh, we have been my, chatting. I'm, I'm having a ball. And I, don't, I, I love a good my guess. drink per usual. Ty, what Craig are you drinking? looking at me because he knows we still got to do eggs. I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm drinking cool. <laughs> I've been singing this all week, but as soon as I hear it, because if the beat live, you, you know, know Lil Juke. Y'all know what's going on, man. Okay. Come on. This one is called Lil You Made It, okay? He <laughs> except Lil Ty made it. Except <laughs> look, Big Ty. Yeah. Not the little one. <laughs> Not the little one. Not the little one. So, Ju likes Añejo tequila, so we have some Añejo in here. Don Julio specifically. We have some dragon fruit syrup, a little watermelon liqueur, splash of lime juice, and then, of okay. course, the girls love a little sparkling rosé just mm, to top it off. It. And then it's garnished it. with a fresh dragon fruit slice. Mm. So this is the Lil' Ju Made It. I need Lil' Ju Made It. Yeah. Yeah. So he want to try one. You want to try one? Try one. one. I got you. Fantastic. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And we're here to tell y'all about the Prize Picks app, the number one app to get your plays in when you watch sports. Yes, they have over 5 million users, and you can use Prize Picks in Texas, Georgia, and California. Yes, and if you don't know what you're doing like me, I do my Prize Picks alongside with Drewski and Joe Budden, because I know they be winning. Mm -hmm. All you got to go is to the community plays mm -hmm. under the promo tab. Yeah. Because they get money over there. I don't know about 
about y'all. I don't know what I'm doing, but they do. Me either, and we need a piece of that. Yeah, so all you're gonna do is download the Prize Picks app and use code POUR, that's P-O-U-R, and you'll get $50 just for playing $5. That's mm -hmm. it, that's all you gotta do. I don't know about you, but I like to play my Prize Picks. Me too. Download the Prize Picks app today and use code POUR and get $50 instantly when you play $5. That's code P O U R on Prize Picks to get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Prize Picks, run your game. Ty has done the damn thing. Per Once usual. Again. Once it. again. So, um, Star Tinder. Yeah, that Star that's Tinder. That's Facts. Well, Tell me, I got to say, hey. Mm, okay. I got you. <laughs> so, Lex, do you want to play the game or do you want to get Oh, I forgot in? about the game. Or do so, you want to get in? No, I want to play, play the game because we're having okay. fun. I, like I feel bad because I feel like my cards was sitting here, little Jew. Did you look at my cards? Uh, I might have picked it one up. I feel like up. he did. I, I just realized they were sitting here like that. Okay, well, well, it, well he can't it. got... Okay, so the name of the game... What's the name of the game? Drop That Line. Yeah. Drop That Line. These are right. from black movies or TV shows. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm really in tune with my, um, you know. So are you a movie show person? I like black. I'm not a show person, okay. but movies, I love movies. Well, okay. good thing for you, one is from a show. Okay. But, I mean, one is from a movie, but one is from a very popular show. Okay. So the first line I'm going to give you, you have to say the movie, mm -hmm. and you win. Mm hmm but if you can name the character, you get a bonus point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Did you at least pinch the bitch? Did you at least pinch Oh, I feel bitch? like I know where that's from, but I can't think of the name Come of the movie. On. Like, neither can I. Y'all um, know, this is easy. Now, this is something that I know, and y'all know I grew up on Brady Bunch, and I love Lucy, bitch. Is that... I'm trying to say it in a... Did you at least pinch the bitch? I'm is that on next Friday? Don't give it away. I don't want to say next Friday. No, it's not, no, it's not Friday. Okay. It's not um, Friday for sure. Think about two bitches fighting. And she got beat the fuck up. And when you say it, it's going to pop right in the I whole movie. I can't how he said it, though. It's going to pop in my head. <gasps> no, well, I'm not playing right No, but I mean, you can help him out. I give can him give him a, him a lifeline. I'm trying to think. Okay, though. think strip club. Oh, the players club? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right, all right. I'll give you that one. I'll okay. give you that one. Okay. I'll give you that one. Okay, okay, okay. okay. okay, okay. Dre, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Damn, who said that? Jamie Foxx? It said, oh, Anthony Johnson, Easel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. R.I.P. Damn. R.I.P. Yep. Okay, so both of mine are from movies. Okay. So I'm going to do the first one. Not only did she say she know you, but she said she sucked your little black dingling last night. Ooh. Come on. Is Andre. that Bailey? Ooh! Is that Get Bailey? Yeah, I don't know my black what? movies, man. Why? I that know my good. black movies. All right, now, this is from a show. Okay. But this line was so famous. Yeah. Everybody's going to be screaming at the TV screen right now if you don't get this right. Okay. okay. For the love of God, Tasha, show some respect. I just lost the love of my life. Oh, yeah. Fair. Is that the game? No. Oh. One more time. Uh, One more time. But Tasha was on the she game. She was on the game, no. so that was a good game. That was a good game. For the love of God, Tasha, show some respect. I just lost the love of my life. You got to say it more angry. I wasn't angry. No. Uh, For the love of God, Tasha, show some respect. I just lost the love of my life. No, nah, I believe, I believe <laughs> that. Believe? I believed that one. Um, it, okay, so can I get a hint? Like, is it 2000s? Two the 2000s, the 2000s. Think 2000s. Drug dealers. Um, think drug of the most powerful drug dealer that we've had in the last five, six years on TV. In New York. Um, because <laughs> I'm not, like, since... They have a lot of stuff. I ain't calls. really watch... Okay, uh, it's whole... power? Yeah. yeah. Is it power? Oh, no. I don't even watch power, but I'm like, is it power? What? Okay. I don't watch Who TV. Else I don't watch no. TV for real. As an African American. I don't watch TV. That's like, like I don't got time to watch TV. Really watch TV. Ghost, honestly, I feel like shows, when we talk about characters, you know, Ghost is somebody who's gonna go down in history. Facts. See, as one I of the most important black characters in black entertainment. You think he's gonna be in the history book? He should be. Ghost. They, they should because the power started the whole universe. 
It's no, not, they do have a whole universe. A whole universe. You, know, you know how Marvel got the Marvel universes? Power mm-hmm. has a universe. Power has a universe. Can't nobody make a universe off a of drug dealer. And one thing I will say is <laughs> I have watched every Power show except for the Tommy one. That's why you can't leave. Maybe I need to get into to white it. I'm telling you, it's so good. Like the Canaan book mm. show is good. The Power. I mean, how many Power episodes? With Tyrese. I gotta sit there for an hour, 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 hour. It's hour, 10 hour. episodes per season. Okay, okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Do you watch Game of Thrones? I don't watch TV. Uh, yeah. Like, I, I, I. I only watch movies because the movie is two hours. Yeah, okay, I feel you. You know oh, what I'm you saying? You got a short attention span. Yeah. Yes. My tribe. I, I could be making a beat. I could be at the studio. Yeah. I could be over here. Like, why am I sitting here binge watching? You know what I'm saying? I, you, I, I don't was, watch Martin. But it might get that your creative flows going. But I feel like music or doing anything outside of watching TV just like gets, if I go hike, okay. you know okay. what I'm saying? Even okay. though I don't do that that often, you know what I'm saying? I go play basketball randomly or something. That's going to get my juices for more than watching power. Watching TV. Like okay. my attention span is real I short. I agree. Like, no, Lex knows this about me. I seen. my attention span is so short. Like I literally one of my other best friends, her name is Lynn. Whenever we, whenever we hang out together and she comes to my house or I go to her house, we be watching TV together and she'll be like, "Oh, go ahead and tell him how to how to drink." No. Nah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It's good. And if the drink live, you, you know, know little time, baby. Yeah, no. <laughs> But yes, every time me and my friend be together, she gets so frustrated with me because I'll be like, rewind it back. Rewind it back what they said. Because she always has to rewind the show or I always need to rewind it because I be missing parts because... I'll be focused and then something Thinking about happen. something yeah. totally then, different. Yes. It'll, like, when I tell you, it'll literally take me, like, four hours to finish an hour-long episode. That's how I am when I read. Like, I yeah. literally read a whole page. Well, like, and I can't tell you read? nothing yeah. that I read because I'm thinking about what I'm finna eat later <laughs> and some more shit. So I'm like that with TV shows My too. mind always working. Like, it's hard for me to binge watch something. Like, it has to be a really, really good show. The only reason I watched Power was because I was watching it mm-hmm. as it was coming out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, it's you hard like Grey's for me Anatomy. to binge. It took me a long time to convince you, but you eventually watched Grey's. And I did binge watch Grey's, but I didn't finish it. You didn't. I stopped on like, I remember my mom used to watch yeah. Yeah. Oh, Grey's Anatomy is the yeah. best show to it's ever so good. I sampled they... Uh, uh, they little intro one time. You know I did my research on you, little Jew. Yes, that is a because it didn't have words in the mm-hmm. first few seasons had words, but then they took out the words. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if the beat loud, mm-hmm. but now okay. yeah, like I said, I did my little research on you. You a Pisces? Yeah, I am a Pisces. Mm-hmm. The worst, so worst hated uh, sign. No, I as, love Pisces. As far as men, I I be seeing the backlash for the Pisces. Well, men. I have I never Pisces. seen. Yeah, I will never date another Pisces man again. <laughs> Terror, terrorize. They're very, they're very emotional and they're in tune with their emotions. But that's why I said I feel like Grays will be good for you. It's a tearjerker. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. You want you might. I, I, I am one of them. I'll be on the plane watching the movie and it'd be a, okay. a sad movie. I might. You might be like that. Let me get this out. I just got something in my eye. I just something in my eye. We up too high. I'm like, my eyes just started leaking. I know. Look, that's what you got to say. That eye leaking. <laughs> that eye leaking. Okay, I got one more, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's from a movie, too. Mm-hmm. I need that money, Frankie. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 set it off. Yeah. 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 I'm in tune with my black Look, movies. Look, you need good. He didn't even have to take a shot. No, you need good. I'm in tune with my black movies. That. They already asked me any other type of movie because I, I really only, I ain't going to say I only watch black movies, but I've seen all the black movies. Yeah. It's, but it's okay if you only do that. You no, know I mean, what I'm saying? I like, I like some white people coming in and shit. At supporting our people. Yeah. 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 I just right. like us. So I, I like mm-hmm. I like us. I saw, what Issa Rae said, I'm rooting for everybody black. Period. Yeah. And yeah. is. All right, topic melanin? number one, Drea. Help us out here. What we talking about? <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Drea Nicole. And one thing I know is that times are hard right now. The economy is crazy. So one thing that I love about Chime is that you can get your direct deposit two days early. Because if rent due on the first, I need it on the first. 
I agree. And I also love that they have no monthly fees and you have access to over 50,000 ATMs. See, that's that's what it is. Because I need right my now. money when I need it. And I'm not trying to pay no $30 just to use your ATM because I need $20. And I also ain't trying to get no overdraft fee. Hello? Talk about it. Chime is going to help y'all reach your financial goals. I'm telling you. And help you build your credit. If you are at the beginning of your journey, you're trying to save money, get your credit right, Chime is the place to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Chime.com backslash poor minds. That's C-H-I-M-E dot com backslash poor minds. Get started on your future. You won't regret it. Period. Make your fall finances a little greener by working towards your financial goals with Chime. Open your account in two minutes at Chime.com backslash poor minds. That's Chime.com backslash poor minds. Chime feels like progress. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp NA or Stride Bank NA. Members FDIC. Spot me eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. Boosts are available to eligible Chime members enrolled in Spot Me and are subject to monthly limits. Terms and conditions apply. Go to Chime.com backslash disclosures for details. <laughs> Mm. But topic number one, I want to talk about questions that make you mad or questions that automatically piss you off. Ooh. A question. That yeah. So, like, for me, a question that will automatically piss me off is if I told somebody I'm in the gym, like, working hard on my fitness. Mm. Like, I'm going I consistently. I'll be up in the gym just working on my fitness. Yes. He's my witness. But I teach them boys like, rah, rah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'll be lining down the block just so but no, for girl. real, like, if I'm you telling somebody I'm in the gym, I'm going hard, I'm working on my fitness, and then I'm thinking I'm doing a good job of staying consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you ask me, you still working out? Okay. You watching That's my true. stories every day? Well, no, that would be, no, I'm not looking at it like that about you watching my stories. I feel like you low-key trying to diss me because Ooh. you don't see no progress. Oh, oh okay. 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 Are you like, you still working I out? I can see that. I can see that. Can that would piss that. me okay. off. That's Because, bitch, yes. Yeah, I'm still fucking working out. Did I say I did not? But it's like, but let me see your results. Oh, I can't see nothing because you ain't go ho at <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So that would piss me off, like. Okay. Yeah. That A was on my mind. question that pissed, no. This question has been pissing me off for so long. Mm. This is how I knew when I was younger, like, I wasn't a happy person. Mm. Because this question shouldn't piss me off. But it, but it pisses me the fuck off since I've been a tiny, tiny tot. What is it? Hey, can I ask you something? You Let just did the question. <laughs> you just did, whole ass nigga. You do not care about my feelings. You could have asked a question when you asked that question. Can I ask you a question? No, bitch. Now where do we go from here? Because what if I nah, say no? Nah, yeah, exactly. Because you just asked the question, so why are you trying to make me... Just ask it. You just asked the question. Asking somebody, can I ask you something? Is the question. Bro. That was your one free pass. Get the fuck out my face. Yeah. People DM me, hey, Lex. Hey, Lex, can I ask you something? Actually, no. So now what? <laughs> They're going to be like, Lex is a bitch. I don't care. You should have just asked the you question. You should have just asked it. Can I ask you a question? What does that even mean? Mm. What does that mean? Because you can I ask mean. anybody whatever you want to. They don't have to answer. Just ask. That shit pisses me off to no end. So what be pissing you off, little Drew? I know you get the same question. It's kind of the same thing, but I hate when people say yo. Because <laughs> yo is a question. Like, yeah. Yo is a question. I'm like, Because yo, yo is like, what's up? Yeah. Yo. yo what, do you want? Want? what do you want? It's like, literally say... What you want with a question mark? Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I, you know, I don't never respond yep. to yo, yo. I nigga, say, nigga yeah. who is you? Yo, Chris Brown. <laughs> I say yeah. <laughs> that sounded like somebody else. It sounded like a Mexican. That sounded like Ronald Oz. That sounded no. I, I, I was thinking it was giving Selena. Hey, yeah. A little bit, a little bit. Shakira, I man. Okay. Shakira, yeah. No, no, there, no, no. <laughs> but low key, Shakira mm. and Ronald Osley sound like. Oh. You never thought about that, right? Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> Shakira and the Ronald air. Isley are the same. Same contagious. <laughs> <laughs> Am I Ronald or? Am I Shakira? Oh, Shakira, Shakira. I'm not, I'm not mad That's at a good comparison. That's crazy. I never thought of that. Come on now. I never thought of that. Tell y'all something about me. <laughs> Shakira and Ronald Isley. Somebody need to do a mashup. A remix. TikTok DJs do the mashup. <laughs> You're <laughs> contagious. <laughs> 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 
baby. <laughs> We are never going to get through this episode. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, we got to get into the first. Okay, second topic. Mm -hmm. Second topic. Go ahead, Drea. Okay. I wanted to talk about why did you make me bring this topic in? <laughs> <laughs> I done had like five drinks. Okay. See, I got to read see, that see, handwriting. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> that handwriting is crazy. So, wait, on the paper, do you want to do one or two? No, we can do number two. Okay, so, we can do number two because I'm going to read the tweet. So, go ahead and introduce it, though. Mm, okay, mm. women who are actually wife material are the ones that struggle to find a partner. Do you believe that? So, i seen this tweet. I like to shout people out. Her name is Agba for Chisholm. I hope I said that right. Agba. Agba. For Chisholm, that's her sweet name. She said, the only women that are struggling to find a partner are actually the ones that are wife material. So do you feel that way? Because nowadays I feel like people love a good, a good time mm -hmm. and they feel like, why do I have to choose? I think that's what men are coming into. They like, they want a fun wife that's fun, but she also has domestic capabilities. She can go out to work, have a good time, be fine as hell, work out, take care of herself, but she's also going to come home, cook and clean of a smell like onion rings. Mm -hmm. But so uh, there's another side of womanhood that women are like, you know, I'm conservative. You know, I cook, I clean, I stay at home. I can bear children or whatever they feel like is wife material, what society says is wife material. And they feel like they're the ones that are being left out versus the ones that are just like wild and outside. They feel like those are the women that are in relationships and the women who are the women who are truly inside and that are that used to be deemed wife material are not getting wifed up anymore. How do you feel about that? I feel like I can't speak for all men, but I feel like the women that are at home, more or less, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. probably require a little bit more. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And I feel like the women, more or less, I'm not going to say all, I'm not going to group everybody. But, yeah, yeah. You know it's what I'm saying? The women that's out. At the clubs, twerking and stuff. I ain't, ain't going to just say twerking. I'm just, we just adding it. They in, just in out the, at the club. You know what I'm saying? Out so of the remember, club. the key word is wife now. Yeah, They're yeah. Like your wife. Is. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, with those women, you only really got to take them to the club. Mm, you ain't okay. You ain't got to more, like, that's a date <laughs> to them. <laughs> Okay. Going to the strip club and to the regular club, you know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. a date. You know what I'm saying? We go get some food at the at the Ten at, swings. You know what I'm saying? That's a date to and I'm not saying all of those women. Yeah, that's fair. That's but fair. women that come from that lifestyle. So let me ask you this. You feel like you can give a woman bare minimum because she's an outside girl. Cause that's what I'm just saying. If that's all she's showing that So you're gonna gal her because I'm not saying I'm gonna gal her. But that's, that's not what, what I'm saying. You saying wifey oh, you, you asked me which one would I choose? Yeah, which one will you choose to wife? Oh, definitely the one that's at home. The ones at home. Okay. But so it is 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 because I feel like with the women that's outside, like Seeing bro section today mm. and my section tomorrow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and another bro section next week. You know what I'm saying? Not saying they can't do the, they're not capable of doing the things that the women at home or, you know what I'm saying, the the, the more homelier women are doing. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we really, you can only go off what somebody is presenting to you. Okay, that's fair. You know what I'm saying? Not to judge a book by its cover, but... When you at the store and the cover got and the book got a wrap around it, you can't open the book. I know that's right. You, you just gotta read saying? the back. You just, you just gotta, gotta read, read the back in the front. <laughs> hey. That's how you can see. You can't see the inside. So if that's all you showing, it's like you read what you sow, or you know what I'm saying, the the, the seeds that you plant, that's what you're gonna get back. Okay. So more or less, if you were outside woman, you're gonna get a man that's outside. I agree with that, but I also feel like this is where I just be feeling like girls just be saying anything to make themselves feel better about being single oh. and not having a man at a certain age because if you was wifeable, you would be wife. Yeah. Mm. Like, I really do feel that way, too. Like, I feel like if you was so wifeable over these other women, 
And that's what I mean. Like, not not so much of you not being wifeable, because it's a lot of women who are older. Because realistically speaking, and I feel like I've said this on the show before, um, statistically speaking, it's not enough people in the world for everybody to get married. Yep. So, that's number one. So, I mean, as far as genders, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Lex, why are you looking that way? No, I got something to add on. I got something to add it's on. Not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough people to for every single person that wants to get married to end up being getting married when it comes to gender, when it comes to compatibility, when it comes to all of these things. But I feel like sometimes women who reach a certain age and they're still single, they will say anything to make themselves seem like, well, I should have been married or I have the qualifications and I'm supposed Superior, and this is why I'm still single. When in reality, like you and this girl who be in the club all the time, or that you feel like you better than y'all single for the same reason, because y'all both ain't wifeable for different reasons to different people. I, I I feel that for sure, but I also feel like there's way more good women than there is men that got themselves together. I with that. Um, so, okay, that's why I was waiting for somebody I agree to with take it. it there. Like I feel like it's maybe it's not in some instances it's not always the woman's fault that she's not married. Like it's just like sometimes you gotta play. The pickings the, are slim. Yeah, the pickings are slim. You gotta play the cards that are dealt to you. Mm-hmm. So maybe she just didn't run into the the guy that has his his stuff together who's ready for that. She kept, because majority of us are, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. for more or less, fuck niggas, you know what I'm saying? And, and not to bash niggas. Are you picking the not, wrong niggas? Because if you picking fuck niggas, you picking the wrong niggas. It's not, yeah. it, uh, like, a, a, a fuck nigga can hide these. And the, hey, they be in disguise Only now. for so long, Look though. at Lil Red Riding Hood. <laughs> she ain't no... Yeah, but she found out quick. That's what I feel like. Only for so long can somebody hide they fuck niggas. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nah. You can't hide that shit for too long. It's going to come out. Even if you don't purposely try to show it, yeah. it's going to be in the little shit that yeah, you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the signs be there. The signs? And sometimes... The women I, be already in too deep by then, though. I don't even think women be in too deep. I don't think that's the problem. I think women want to be wifed up and married so badly that they will deal with anything just to have a man or for the potential of getting married. I think the signs be there and women just be like, oh, that's okay. The the flag can hit them in the head and they be like, it's cool. Literally. Ain't no yeah. problem. Let me say this. <laughs> first things first. We have to throw the definition of wifey material away. We do. Because... People evolve. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the, a man, what was defined as what made a man in the 1700s, 1800s, 1900s, is not what a man expects today. Mm-hmm. And that's the same thing for a wife. I think that what is wifey material is depending on the man you're dealing with. It depends. I done dated men who felt like, you know what? It's important to me that a wife is someone who can bear children. Mm-hmm. And then you meet another man, he's like, I don't care about having kids. A wife to me is, is somebody who is a support system that can listen and I can work out things with her. Mm-hmm. It's a different definition for each person. Mm-hmm. So the problem with women and men is we are still trying to have that um, definition of a wife as someone who can cook and clean, someone who's conservative. That's not what a wife is. We are so much more than just being at home cooking and cleaning and having on a fucking turtleneck, bitch. And <laughs> and going back to the women, I feel like a lot of the time, and I'm only saying this about women because I feel like a lot of the time women, we're our worst enemy. Like, yeah. we be against each other more than the men be against us. And I just feel like women need to understand, too, like, you just have to... Be okay with understanding that it's okay to be single. Like, yeah. everybody is not going to get married, and that's okay. Everybody is not meant to get married. But I think putting yourself on a certain pedestal and thinking that you're above other women, which I think worked for a really long time, because, like, going back to what you said, well, I mean, I don't want to say 1700s, but the 1900s for sure. Like, if we're looking back to our mothers, our grandparents, being a modest woman was the thing to do, and that was what was going to get you wives. I think what be making a lot of women these days, especially modest, quote-unquote, modest women upset, is that the girls who are not as modest are being them and doing them and doing exactly what the fuck they want to do, and they're still getting chose mm. by men. Yeah. Come on now. 
There's nothing better than just being your natural self. And, and it's more accepted And you're going to attract to be a yourself. better person. I tried to fit myself in this mold yeah. for so long, and I was miserable. But when I started being myself, I started attracting better people. Mm -hmm. So I think women trying to be like, oh, let me be modest because this is what a man wants. This mm -hmm. is what a man... Girl, be you. But if you are modest, that's fine, that, And too. that's fine, but you're being but true don't, to yourself. Yeah. But don't think that you're above somebody just because you got a fucking turtleneck on with some knickerbockers, bitch. <laughs> yeah, bitch, because that's y'all business. I'm going to wear this V-cut. Hey, titties out. Hey, titties out. Knees don't work. Yeah. But I still look good. So, and I'm going to get chose. What kind of woman do you look for? Because you're a successful man. What's the what's the t statistic, Drea, that they uh, sent us to the chat the other day about um, Amer It was in the chat. What? It was like 100,000. Remember in the chat, the group chat? Our Rich Minds group chat? I'm trying to ask him the statistic. because 5% five percent, five of people, 5% of black Americans make over $100,000 5%. So you're in that 5%. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. So... What do you look for in a woman? Because you're considered a high-value man, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So what do you look for in a woman? What's wifey material to you? Like somebody you will get on your knee. A woman that I can talk to for real. Mm -hmm. And like not have to be little you made to be with. Okay. Mm. I can just be Julian. I know that's right. I knew that was coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like since I've become this, I guess, whatever it is I yeah. am, all the women I meet, meet me as this. Yeah. Even though I'm not, like, putting on a per, Like, I'm still me. Right. But you know what I'm saying? They see me as the, for lack of better terms, high, higher value man. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the woman that can see me just for Julian. Mm-hmm. That's the woman I want for real. Right. Mm. Like, even though I can't provide and all that type of stuff, I need somebody that's going to be there for me. Mm -hmm. Like, in, in the times when I need somebody to be there. But because but because I'm successful, I it seems like I don't need anybody to... Yeah. Because I got everything under control. But it's like, at the, you know what I'm saying, 2 o'clock in the morning, like... And you want to talk. When I'm sitting there thinking, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't call my mama and my daddy. Mm -hmm. they, they sleep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and also, this is, like, more, like, things that they wouldn't understand because my parents are old. They didn't even understand me being this until I became this. And they was like, oh, mm -hmm. well, and she knew what you was talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what yep. I'm saying? So I feel like my parents is kind of more or less judgy. I just need somebody that's not going to judge me for yeah. real. Like, with whatever I say. Like, obviously, I want somebody to... Correct me when I'm wrong, but you know what I'm saying? Just, like, not judge me when I'm really, like, expressing how I feel for real. Because yeah. in my experience, you know what I'm saying, before I became this, like, anytime I would express my feelings, I was being a bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just like... They, they I, call them sassy. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even that I was being sassy. It was just like... You just a Pisces. Yeah, and I, I would explain how I feel in a relationship, and it's like, nigga, you, you the man. Like, why is you? I'm just, I'm just telling you how I feel about right. whatever mm -hmm. happened, and it's like, so I will bottle up my feelings after that because I'm like, I don't even want like, mm -hmm. why did tell you something if you gonna throw it back in my face like later yeah. on? Yeah. Like, so just someone who. More or less, you know what I'm saying. Can Obviously, I mean, the other other things fall in line too. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm a nigga, so I want a girl to cook for me. You know what I'm saying? But that, yeah. that ain't that's basic. That's stuff. basic I, stuff. I, but yeah. you know I what always I'm saying? said that I don't feel like a wife material is somebody that can necessarily cook. Beyonce even said many times that she don't she can't cook, cook and she and can't, can't cook. cook. But you know what I think is important too, because a lot of these men don't be husband material. Yeah. Because let's talk about the support system that you have to be if you're dealing with a successful woman. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I went down a rabbit hole. But I feel like for a man to want to be a support system to a successful woman, he has to want a successful woman. I think a lot of men don't want successful women. Like, I think a lot of successful men don't necessarily want successful Not women. But, but like I said, I think that goes into the character of who you are as a person. A lot of successful men, if they don't want a successful woman... It's because of their ego. For sure. And, like, narcissistic reasons. Mm -hmm. Because every, like, good guy that I've come across that had his shit together, 
they wanted a woman that was equally yoked. Mm -hmm. And they, lo they loved that about me. Mm -hmm. Like, that was my quality that they loved. So, I went down a rabbit hole last night of uh, Serena Williams, right? Because I was, like, wondering about that beef with her and Maria Sharpova. But it, something else had popped up, and it was showing her, and who this was her boyfriend at the time, Alexis. I can't say his name last name, but her husband now. And these guys were, like, playing tennis, and she walked up to the court. She was like, hey, guys, who won? They were like, oh, my God, Serena. And he's just recording, like... Egging her on, but he's always been such a support system for him. Mind you, this is the CEO of Reddit. Mm. You know, her husband is the CEO of yeah, Reddit. Yeah, he started Reddit. So I feel like with things like that, it's like that goes into picking a good partner because a lot of the times, just because a man is successful does not mean that he's husband material. That does not mean he's high value. Mm -hmm. So sometimes y'all be looking at these men with these small percentages, but it's like... You worried about being wifed up by a man who isn't husband material. But do you think that go with stepping, being okay with stepping outside of your race and dating? No, I think that goes without stepping out just out of your box, period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And going for something that's not typically your type. Mm -hmm. Because I think, mm, for me, I... I like a, I used to like a certain type of guy with a certain type of like how he carried himself and his demeanor. But I had to step outside of that to be happy. And you know what I'm saying? Like for it, it just depends on what you value. And I realized I don't value the same things that society values. And that's okay. And with being, you know, on camera and stuff like that, we feel like we have to have a certain persona. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what y'all see me. I don't give a fuck. Oh. Lex man only bought her this next XYZ. I don't give a fuck. I'm happy. But that's what I think is important, though. Like, I always feel like, this is what I always say. It's okay to like things. Like, if you are a person who likes things yes. and you like material things, mm -hmm. nothing is wrong with that. But I think that you need to be being true to yourself. Like, do you like this shit because this is what you really like and this is what you've always wanted? Or do you like this because society has told you that this is what you should like and this is what you should want and this is what the popular girls have? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, it's good to me, like, even with you saying that, like, you've came to a point to where you realize you don't value certain things. Like, you don't really care that much about certain shit as much as you thought you did. Mm -hmm. But that's because I feel like society made you feel like you should care about those things. And now you're like, okay, I'm cool with knowing, like, this not for me. I think the only thing I care about is platform shoes. Yeah. What you mean by that? And see, I, I love a platform shoe. And what I've realized, you see it? Yeah. What I've realized is I'm tall and I'm heavy. Yeah. So when I buy shoes, it has to kind of be like a designer heel sometimes because I like a little skinny heel. Mm -hmm. Steve Madden don't do this. This is sturdy. Yeah. You feel me? Because that Steve Madden going to might Madden. tip over. Twist your ankle. That's why my knees broke now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it, it's certain things that I like. I love a nice shoe, but that's that's just for me. I don't need to be like, oh, I got on red bottom. Y'all remember the poses the girls used to do? Yes, to show they shoe. Oh, my God. And see, I don't necessarily believe in that, but, like, what I will say is I be liking it. I, I like a piece. I like pieces. But that's because that's what But I think that's really who I am. You I've love a good, a good bag. Good, I do. A good top, a good bottom. Yeah. You know? I do. It's I do. you. I love a good jewel. You know what I love? You know, but... I love a good onion. I can't wait to have a garden. Oh. I want a, a good... I want to grow a good onion. When are you I... going to grow beans? What? She loves beans. I know she loves That's why I said that. Like, are you going to grow beans? Ooh. <laughs> no, me, little Jew. When I don't I... know if I'm going to have a garden, what but I definitely want some plants. So, I love What's your favorite bean? So, my favorite bean, honestly, like, I love... Oh, I know, I know, I know. I know. What? I don't think you know my favorite bean. Oh, Red. What? Okay. Great. I was about to get into it. Why well, I love the bean and you said it too quick. Cause I know you. It's a red bean. I love a good red bean because I, I grew up on like red beans and rice. Yeah, same, same. But you know, you can use the same red beans on like a chili bean. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's the same thing. A red bean, a chili bean, they're kind of the same. Mm -hmm. And then the second one's my Black. uh my brown. No, no, no. 
My brown people did their thing with the pinto bean. Oh, okay, yeah, pinto yeah, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Pinto I love good. a good pinto refried. Give it to me however you like it. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They went crazy. They did. Do y'all like garbanzo beans? Ooh, but I love a good garbanzo. Chick peas, if Ooh, you will. Chick, because I love hummus. Yeah, I love hummus too. You hummus like hummus is too? Fire. I love hummus. I just found out I can't eat chickpeas. Because of my blood type. Beans are so good. Honey. But I'm not, not going to no lie more. to y'all. I have I a question to ask y'all. I asked, I asked somebody this last night. I said, what does success look like to you? Success for me looks like when I'm in my home, I have a beautiful garden, and I can go back in my garden. I have some chickens mm -hmm. so I can get my eggs. Mm -hmm. I can go to my garden, and I can go in my kitchen, and I can fully make a full meal with things that I've grown. That's what my success looks like. When like when I reach that, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I, made it. I did what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So what does success look like for y'all? Oh, uh, you wanna go? No. Uh, success to me looks like on Christmas this year when my whole family was at my house. Okay. And we at my house. Yes. Like it's my, where I pay the bills at. We had Christmas, everybody opened up their things. I got my little cousins, PlayStation 5 and things like that. We out eating and I'm just looking around I'm like, damn. My grandma died in 2014, but I'm like, she would be so happy that I'm like keeping mm. the family together like this. So that's what success looked like. Oh, to I be love to that. be able to be the the new matriarch. It's not big mama, it's big daddy. It's big daddy now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big mama gone, but you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it was up to me. Yeah. Cause I didn't know who else it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. Like it was literally up to me. Like I was always that personality, like it's gonna be me. So I just did everything in my power to make it me. And now for years to come. It'll be me. I love that. Family. For me, it looks like the luxury of time. You know, just being able to spend my time how I want to spend it every yeah. day. Yeah. Like, doing exactly whatever I want to do every single day. Like, not having to do something I don't want to do, but being able to do exactly what I want to do every day. Anything that I want to buy, I can go buy it right then and there. For my With my family and my friends... Anything that I could do to make them happy, I could do it at the drop of a dime. Mm. That's what I think is success to me. Just being able to, because it's really important to me to make sure I want to be successful because I know I want to live a certain type of life. But I also want to make sure that the people around me are straight too. You know, and I don't feel like it's necessarily my duty to make sure that they straight. But I also feel like if I'm living a certain way and I claim that I love you so much and I care about you so much, why wouldn't I to a certain extent, like, give you some of the same experiences. Not saying give you some money. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I, can't get I, feel like I quit right definitely now. Definitely can't get the money out. see me no more. Not, not saying give you some money, but, like, if I've reached a certain level of success and I decide, okay, you know what, I want to go to Greece for a week and get a yacht and rent a yacht. I want the luxury of being able to invite, like, three, four of my friends and, like, not even having to think about how much that's going to cost. Mm -hmm. And giving them that break, too, because I know they probably need that break from work or yeah. whatever, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, that's what I think about when I think about success. I love that. These were yeah. some good answers. Yeah. Uh, uh. A moment we had just now. <laughs> <laughs> this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know summertime is almost over, so y'all know what that means. The seasonal depression is coming upon us. Yes, y'all. It's so important to get you a therapist. And what I love about BetterHelp is it's so easy. It's so convenient. You could do it from the comfort of your own home, or you could do it on the go. And on top of that... It's not that expensive. Yes, and I'm telling y'all, you want to get ahead of it before it gets here. I always like to do therapy year-round, mm -hmm. but if you took some time off during the summer, now is the time to get back into it. Right. So what you're going to do is go to betterhelp.com backslash poor minds. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com backslash poor minds, and you will get 10% off of your first month. Mm -hmm. Rediscover your curiosity with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash PoorMinds today to get 10% off of your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash PoorMinds. <laughs> but now it's time to, to get, get into, into the big. Bow. The big. Bow. The big. Uh, bow. 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 bow, bow. Mm. The bad topic is when we get into our sex topic. Okay. okay so, you know, okay, we got to okay, okay. get a little freaky. All right. A freak, let me take, a freak let me drink, nasty. Let me, let me get a little, little, little you know, sip of this. You get, take a little sip take now. Take a little sip. All right. Of that dragon fruit. Mm -hmm. 
Dre, you want me to introduce it? Go ahead. Tell it like it is. Can I get another shot, too? If, 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 Absolutely. If you don't mind. So the bad topic Look, this you week. you trying to get lead. A little bit. So, you <laughs> know. I, I, I drank a smoothie on the way here, so I'm. Come on now. Yeah, I mean, I got a little, I got a little in my stomach. Already. Yeah, I'm but got a little in my stomach. Yep. So, you know, I feel like we talk so much about, like, transi- transactional things, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of times women be like, oh, before I have sex with you, you got to do X, Y, Z, and this and that. And people start feeling like sex is so transactional. Mm-hmm. But what if you have a woman that's really into you and she really likes you? Or maybe she doesn't like you. I don't know what the case may be. She liked me. But she, y'all done did the do. Y'all done had sex. Yeah. And, but now that y'all have had sex, she feels like you should start doing certain things because y'all have had sex now. Is that still transactional? Like, is this is I'm it saying, transactional so, so, after the sex? So, yeah. can I add something to the question? So, yeah, is, yeah. is this like, I went and hung out with a chick and then... She let me hit the first night, yeah. and then now she yeah, want to go on the, and then now she want to go on a date, but she already let me hit without going on a date. Are you yeah. asking me that? Okay, no, not. I, 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 I was well, thinking me, like somebody that you've kind of been like pursuing. Well, I'm thinking of something more extravagant because I think a date is the bare minimum. Like if she yeah. want, if y'all already had sex and she wants you to take her to dinner, yeah, no, okay, I got a cool. With that. Yeah. But like. If she, if you already had sex with her and then she's like, oh, can you buy me a shoe? Can you buy me a bag? A shoe. Can you buy me? And do you think it's this kind of shoe? Huh? Do you think it's still transactional <laughs> <Yes>. after? <laughs> you got some ah, nice flashes. He does. <laughs> I've seen them 747s. We took them off earlier. They're giving me <laughs> Brazilian shot. My grandma to told me everybody was going as a kid. Why do they men have they they made. Made. You have beautiful lashes. Thank you, thank you. Okay. You do that That's real what, nice. The girls been the smile. Mine would have looked like that if my mama never would have parted my hair. Oh, I know, know that's saying? they finna like, yeah, come I'm more gonna now. Just... <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, like, okay, you had sex with her, mm-hmm. and then she's like, like, okay, say it's a few weeks after y'all done had sex. And she like, babe. I've been looking Babe. at these shoes. You know, girls look okay. Yeah. When I need something, Babe, I've been looking at these shoes. They so cute. They only twelve hundred dollars. Can you get them for me? Would you say no if y'all been having sex consistently? Do you still feel like that's transactional because she asked after the fact? Because I'll say this when I think of transactional sex, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. I always think of it's based off of the terms of like. If you don't do this for me, I'm not fucking you. Mm. Like, I'm not having okay, sex yeah, with you if yeah. you don't buy me this or if yeah. you don't do this for me. Yeah. But I feel like if we get to a point to where we're dating, we're talking, we're consistently dealing with each other, mm. and then I ask you for something, why is it a problem if you can do it? Okay, so... Because it's different if you can't. If we're dating, actively dating... What's dating to you? <clears throat> like... Dating is someone talk, like like we we you know what I'm saying we they talk it, we talk every day you know what I'm saying we've been on more than one date mm-hmm. we may or may not have had sex but mm-hmm. I communicate with this person every day yeah mm-hmm. that's dating that's dating for yeah. real you know what I'm saying we might not see each other every day or a couple times a week but that's, I mean that's dating someone that you communicate with every day and y'all have like that little rapport yeah rapport you know what I'm saying but a girl that I'm that I just you don't owe her nothing because you don't know she comes Nate up. Nate Daniel. Hey. I ain't got no, nothing. Okay. I grew up on Pimp C. Ooh. I did. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing. If you ain't mine, I ain't got a dime. <laughs> I grew up on Pimp C. <laughs> I ain't got a dime for real. Like, if you ain't mine, I ain't got a dime. <laughs> but I also grew up on Trina. I feel hey. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I feel I'm that. But I'm a period on it's, it's just like, freak. like you said, like we was talking about with the girls that's in the club versus the girls at home. Like, if it was yeah. a girl at the club, like, I just spent 1200 on this section. You know what I mean? Like, I just, uh, the bottle was $1,000. You know what I mean? Like, so you and me, you drunk the bottle too. Everybody in this motherfucker drunk the bottle. It right, wasn't so- just me. It wasn't just us. Like, everybody, mm-hmm. but, you know what I'm saying? I provided the experience and the vibe. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because you could have just came to the club and you was just over there at the bar. So it but see, what you- if she wasn't going to be over at the bar, though, anyway? Then she for everybody and she still ain't getting mm, nothing for mm, me. Mm. You know what I'm she saying? gotta be for everybody because she's okay, gonna I'm, be at the okay, bar. I'm not gonna say for everybody, but if she's not at the bar, not as out of 10, she had another nigga section. If she had another nigga section, she could be in this nigga section too. And she could be in that nigga section over there. You know what I'm saying? So any one of these ballers in here tonight, if they talking right, 
You know what I mean? Night. That's what I'm saying. That's, yeah, I mean, that's literally what I'm saying. So, you this, ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? This is why social media has messed things up. But what if she could buy her own section? It don't matter. Yeah, well then, that's... that's we used to could section hop... Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. <laughs> that ain't even real. Yeah, Instagram wasn't real. Yeah. It wasn't a that's thing. That's an anomaly. So we could section hop. Yeah. Niggas didn't know because we wasn't posting nothing. Yeah. We can oh, he ain't talking about nothing. I'll move on over here. He ain't talking about nothing. Oh, jackpot. <laughs> so my thing is this. It's all about that rapport, and I do agree with you. Mm. You cannot have no rapport with somebody, man or woman, because you shouldn't expect pussy from me if we don't have no rapport. Mm. We ain't, you ain't did nothing, and I'm like, okay, you shouldn't expect nothing from me, and I shouldn't expect nothing from you. Now, if y'all have a rapport... You know what I'm saying? You know he got money. He's been taking you out, but you like him. You've been spending your hard-earned time. Yeah. Because time is valuable to a lot of people. And it a is. A lot of love language... People's love language is time. Mm -hmm. So if I've been spending my time with you and I finally, like, you know, give you that nookie, hell yeah. I don't like the way nookie sounds. Nookie. That, that, like, that sounds like... Nookie real good. She said that, pussy. No, but the clean That's version said nookie. That kind of sounds worse. The Nookie, way she just the said it kind of sounded a little... Nookie. Yeah, that's... that's I don't like that. That sounds like a terrible thing. Yeah, like, Nookie her. don't sound good. Like, you get in trouble for that. Like... Nookie... Uh, uh, Y'all know who You gave that Nookie up. Yeah. Jane Yo, the clean version of Pussy was Nookie. Okay. That yeah. Nookie, Nookie. I know. It, it just was... sounds nasty as hell. Because it like, is nasty. It's, no, it's the way she's saying it. Because yeah. she doing her Nook. lips like that, <laughs> that Nookie. And shout out to Jackie O, because she is a Christian now, but... She is. A hit was made in the studio that day. Pussy was our song. She deserves, she Nookie she real more, good. More on the on the women's uh, totem pole, the rapper. She definitely deserves more, for sure. Man, she stop do. playing with Jackie, yeah, I mean, A pioneer. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because that pussy off the chain. Go, go on, on and, and do your thing. thing. I remember that and shit. And that's what it means. <laughs> hey, I've been spending time with you. I've been in, That pussy off the chain, go on and do your thing and spin that. So, do I feel like sex is transactional? If you expect things after sex, it depends on the rapport that we've had. But if you like, like, say me and you started dating today, mm -hmm. and we hung out, we, we, started, like, we started dating today. Do mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right? Come on, come on. So, say we started dating today, yeah, and like we go out on a few dates and we having fun or whatever, and like. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like, okay, we, we have a vibe, but I do feel you like... You can have whatever you want, babe. No, but I feel like my expectations, I feel yeah. like, okay, now we're like... Okay, we look, you, I recorded it. Huh? Hey, I know the camera's going. I know the camera's going. I feel like now it should be like, okay, now you should be giving me like... I feel like our expectations rise mm -hmm. as a woman, like whenever mm -hmm. we have sex. I feel like I done gave you something. Now, we both benefited from it, but I feel like it's more sacred to women. So I do feel like it's okay for the expectations to rise, especially at my age. Yeah. I'm finna be 35. Mm -hmm. By the time it's there, I'm gonna be 35. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like I don't have, like, you can't just come. Bare minimum. Bare minimum. I don't like I that. Like, so I if I've given you my time, but you've shown me that you're worthy of me giving my body, mm -hmm. and then I give you my body, more should come after. So as I've grown as a man and turned into an adult and become successful and whatnot, I can see things from your point of view. Yeah. I used to, like, when I was 21, 22. Yeah. And like I said, I grew up on Pimp C. I couldn't, like, I couldn't see myself. Like, as a 21-year-old, I wasn't spending a dime. You know what I'm saying? Like they were they was coming to my house, coming to pick me up, <laughs> buy me shoes and yeah, shit. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's just how I came. Like you know, mm -hmm. that's Texas. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He was batting them last. No, yeah, I was bat, I was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, was, I was looking around a little bit, but people I'm, be thinking I play. I be playing when I say pimping has always been like a big thing. It is. Yeah. It has. It has. And not saying that I was a pimp, but I'm saying that was just like kind of our culture a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it was. Spending no money home. on no woman. Like, yeah. that's just how I would think yeah. as a 21-year-old, as an 18-year-old, as a 19-year-old. But now that I've become older and I've be become a man, mm. I can understand that you got to keep your woman happy. Mm. And the only way to keep her happy, and when, I ain't going to say the only way, but it's some not. of the ways is by, you know what I'm saying, it's monetary simple. gestures, things yeah. that you could do. Buying flowers is yeah. so simple. Yeah. Yeah. 
taking the time out and be like, you know what? Because you're a busy person. If you're dating a girl, I am a flower busy. buyer. I am a flower buyer. You know, okay. I, I will but Uber, even, Uber eat some flowers to the to the to the job. I, I said that yeah. Uber eats is the most simple way because you can order flowers. It's forty dollars. Yeah. It is. It's literally. 40 But it's like I'm thinking of you. You're busy. No. Hi, baby. You know what? Let's go. Let's go Look drink outside. real quick. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's about the thought. I love a thoughtful. I love somebody that's thoughtful as well. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. One of our favorite podcasts is back, baby. This is Kiki Palmer. Is back with more tea, y'all. Yes, y'all. And she has so many guests this season. She has John Stamos. She has Kinsa Brunson. She has Jordan Peele. Yes, even a little Snoop Dogg on there. We love Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. And one thing about Kiki, she always keeps it real, her authentic self. Mm -hmm. We would love to have her on the couch. Come on over, Kiki. Come on over, see. So, anyways, if you want to watch This Is Kiki Palmer, it is on her YouTube channel. Or if you want to get it ad free, just download the Wondery Plus app and you can listen to Baby This Is Kiki Palmer. Period. Follow, watch, and listen to Baby This Is Kiki Palmer on your Wondery app or wherever you get your podcasts. And now watch full episodes on Kiki's own YouTube channel. Listen to Baby This Is Kiki Palmer early and ad-free right now by joining Wondery Plus. So now it's time to get into the bow. Bow. The bow. 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 Okay, so what you been listening to, Lick? What you been listening to? Before? So this girl just did a tiny desk. And people have been sending her to me. And I, I never took time out to listen to it. Because I've been busy. I've been a busy bee lately. And I finally listened to it because she did her tiny desk. And I was like, wow, she's dope. Her name is Shay Universe, yeah. R&B singer. And I was blown away when I listened to her EP. I was absolutely blown away. I feel like her um, her tone is distinct. I like when people sing and I can tell that it's them. People can say like Ashanti, for example. People love to say Ashanti can't sing, but guess what? When I heard an Ashanti song, I knew it was Ashanti. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like people say Sierra can't sing. I don't care. When I heard Sierra sing, I know it's Sierra. Come and join the band. Oh, you know what I mean? Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I like when the artist's voice is distinct. So Shay Universe, she has a distinct voice. And I was like, okay, I like that. So she has a song called L-O-M-L, Love of My Life. And it's just a vibe. She has a really good voice. She just did the tiny desk. And I'm into it. I'm into it. So shout out to Shay Universe. Y'all go check out her EP. It's very, it's very dope. So that's my bop of the week, period. Mm. Okay, so I feel like we got a little juice. So I feel like we have to do a little juice. Duh. Feed. Duh. But I wanted to do like a more recent Meg song. So I want to do his. Okay, yeah. Because I feel like that's such a good song. Yeah. It's yeah. on her last album. Mm. It's a good Go song. Go get the album right now. It's out. Yeah. Everywhere yeah. streaming. You know I, what I mean? And Lex had this as a bop before on the show. Mm. But I mean, I feel like, you know, it's a good song because she's being vulnerable on the track. And I feel like I love when artists get vulnerable on the track and they talk about real experiences because it makes them more relatable to their audience mm -hmm. and to their fan base. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. Since you brought why up are you, Why are you just... Because I got stuff to say. Yo, let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I already know. Ju, I follow you. Yep. So when his drop, yep. you receives a lot of backlash. Mm. I definitely So did. I just want to know, like, how do you maneuver about that? Because that whole situation was really crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was it, it was, was crazy for us as hip hop they fans. They doxed my address and my phone number, my mama. What house. for real? Yeah. They doxed my address. They were blowing up my phone. I had to put turn on the um uh, setting in the settings to where unknown callers, mm, like, yeah. it'll block them all. Yeah, yeah. When I tell you, it was a point for two days where if you look at my phone, it's ringing. Yeah. From random numbers, all nigga, me not, like, they literally, they calling my house phone. Me and my dad, we the same nigga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I answered a couple of them and cussed their ass out. Yeah. And my yeah. dad did the same thing in Dallas. Yeah. Like, right. It was a whole thing, but I kind of enjoyed this shit. Like, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be all that, but that just made just like I got fifteen thousand followers on Twitter. I only had like seven mm. before that. You know what I'm saying? My shit doubled yeah. off that shit. It was just like a little, little eye opener. Like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm still here, even though I've been working with Meg for three, four years. I ain't went nowhere. I'm still right here in the mm -hmm. forefront. And shit, so that shit was cool. But let me say this: I'm not gonna lie. 
I pay attention to everything. I'm mm -hmm. a very observant person, and I am a hottie. Mm -hmm. But I'm also, I'm a, I'm a barb too. I'm not gonna lie, I'm both. I, I support both. But one thing that makes me so mad, I hate, <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> I hate when the blogs post Nikki, or they post Meg, or they post Lotto, or they post Koi Ray, and it's the stands in the comments. Oh. The stands make stand this culture game is... unjoyable. Like, we can listen to Meg and we can listen to Nikki and Cardi and Lotto. And it shouldn't and be a conflict of interest. And entry. it's not like I can I can listen to all of it. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why it's a problem. It's the young, young couple. We millenn millennials. Yeah, I don't that's think it's the, our age group. Young, yeah, it's that what's culture. it, the Gen Z? The yeah, Gen Zers? Like, I don't think any of us would like purposely log onto a social media and make an account that ain't us. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no disrespect, because I know there's some, them stands is the ones that's like buying the music and shit, but. Well, I don't know, because I, I know of a baby boomer that do that. What? It's, it's a couple. Making fake accounts. Okay. Weird, you know <laughs> a baby it's, boomer? It's, it's always it's a, a, weird, a weird here and there, but for the most part, we, we, because we, we, we saw the first part of the, the, the internet boom, so. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We had to, we had to make, uh, Julian Mason 03. At, yeah. At, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Gen Z, they ain't got that. They missed out on that. We 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 straight Ethernet. They we they missed out on yeah. AOL and you know what I'm saying? We had to gradually get up to that point. So now they can just, but that shit weird. It's uh -huh. it ain't weird, but it's weird. Yeah. Lil Ju, what was your first email address? My first email address <laughs> was Hey y'all, it's Dre Nicole, CEO of Muse Beauty. Are you ready to take your beauty brand to the next level? Well, I've got something special just for you. I'm introducing the keys to a successful e-commerce brand ebook. In this guide, I spill all of my secrets on how I built Muse Beauty from the ground up into a global beauty brand, serving thousands of customers from all over the world. From defining your brand vision to mastering marketing strategies, this book literally covers it all. Plus exclusive highlights and tips that you won't find anywhere else. But wait, y'all, it's more. Check out my curious vendors list featuring over 50 top suppliers in the beauty fashion and packaging industries whether you need cosmetics accessories clothing or chic packaging i've got you covered so what are you waiting for go to www.musebeautycollection.com and get your ebook your vendors list or you could bundle them both together all right bye y'all Block that out, cause if you still use it, I, I did, I did, yeah, we got blocked it out, cause my so my, my bank account and I like, block that out. Block that out. What was your first email? Oh, I don't use that hoe no more. I feel like I said it on the show though. What was it? Ghetto Fabulous four two two. Okay, yeah, that's about right. It's about right. It's and I was right. on sixth grade. Yeah. I, I feel it. So yeah, y'all know my real you name. You feel the vibe? Yeah. So it was. But I thought I was playing on words because mm -hmm. I used to think I was a lyricist. Yeah, I hear you. So I put <laughs> T-Dog because yeah. my name started with T. D-A-W-G or D-O-G? D -O -G. It was D-O-G. You know, okay. I still went to the so white you, school. So you yeah. wasn't that icy. I wasn't yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But I put in, in the letter N and the letter V. So it was like Envy. Mm -hmm. But I was like, T-Dog, Envy me. Because they was mad at Y'all right? mad at me because I'm yeah. a bad bitch. Yeah. I had a pool in my backyard. Yeah. Yeah. MySpace. What? Yeah. Black, I was on that Black time. Planet. Man, was it at AOL? Uh, T Dog Envy Me. Actually, I don't remember. Mine was Ghetto Fabulous Forty Two at AOL.com. Okay, it might have been. It might have been. Cause I feel like back then that's all they had. I hate Yahoo first. I hate Yahoo because yeah. it was Yahoo or AOL. That's true. It was that's Yahoo true. or AOL. So I was still what's, on your, what's your bop of the week? What's your bop? My bop of the week. Yo, song is... that you jamming. Cause like I said, I'm such an old school nigga. Like. Mm -hmm. My bop, my bop is always John B. Um, okay. Um, you know what I'm talking. They don't yeah, they don't know. know. They don't know. That's, that's always like I can literally play that at any given time, and that's just going the right in my day. Oh my god! Like, and I, I love why. that you did a throwback because John B. That. He's still fine. Too. I don't listen to the new music. Like I make it. I don't listen, like. I listen to Megan album, but the other I don't I don't really jam that. So let me ask this, cause you didn't cause you didn't produce uh the one that's going viral right yeah. now. So but how do you feel about the song? No, the song's crazy. Like it's, the song is crazy. I didn't think when we was making the album, I didn't think that was gonna be the You didn't? You didn't hear it? I'm listening to the song. It's a good song, but I'm like, I know my shit finna <laughs> add. You know what I mean? Like everybody finna be here, you know what I mean? So 
I just right, am a producer. Right, right. And I, I, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I love my shit. So yeah, I'm thinking course. it's going to be me. Of but course. don't get it twisted. BAS is going crazy on TikTok. No, shit that, right now no too. so let me tell you what happened. Yeah. I was on Twitter. I was like, when I listen to Meg album, I let it ride a few times. I mm. said, okay, after listening a few times, I said, this Meg album is hard. Yeah. Miami Blue is my favorite song on the album. I said that before. But I was like, this is a solid fucking album. Mm -hmm. So I tweeted, I was like, Miami Blue so hard. I was like, uh, Mamushi is hard. It was like, oh, uh, you know, it was like 50 people in my mission. It's like, BAS, bitch. <laughs> uh, I was like, damn, I didn't even name my top five, bitch. Hold on. Like, they I'm real saying, aggressive. Oh, they don't play about little Jew, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, it's not it, the little Jew. That, that was the first song we made. You know, you have a hive? Man, so it's it be indifferent with Megan fans, cause I mean y'all only see it from the outside looking in, but I obviously I get my my mentions to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Megan like okay, so when we announced his finna come out, mm. a lot of Megan fans feel like she been working with me too much. Oh, okay. And we tired of little Jew. Like we he always make the same beat in this day and the other. And I'm like, I literally don't make the like, please, None of her go, music really go check it. my background. On, like, I do not make the same beat. Right. But I like, also feel like if it ain't broke, why fix Exactly, exactly. But I literally have not made the same beat. So her fans be indifferent with me. But when the album came out, they was like, like, oh, little we sorry. We, we should have never doubted you and this, that, and other. I'm like, yeah, I, I try to tell y'all niggas I know what I'm doing. This reminds Period. me that you got me ate up on Twitter, and I'm low-key mad at you. When was, what, what happened? You know what you did. So I went to the Meg concert. Yeah. And I was upset. Yeah. Because, baby, why is y'all smoking behind me? Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. And you that. was like, uh, I be smoking. I said, Ju, I'm not talking to you. Because <laughs> why would you do that? And they was like, yeah, I'm smoking. Even her producer smoked. I said, y'all got to realize when Ju smoked, he is probably backstage in his own little room. Like, his own literally, little, me, and me and J-Bone. Me and J-Bone, for sure. I know. Meg hates you know J-Bone is like, yeah, yeah. My boy. I, already, I already know. Me and J-Bone, we smoking in his room. Meg hates that I smoke. She loved that I smoke, but she hates that I smoke. I remember times we'd be on a tour bus. Mm -hmm. She, we damn near had to pull it over because I'm smoking on that. She, I'm, I'm getting high. I'm getting high. We might have to go to the hospital. Like Meg hates. Like that's why she did that little, that little video because she. And everybody really, was like, man, but I was like, like I told y'all why. Hey, if y'all go in a public place, just put the weed to the side for a little bit. Or do a little, what's it called? The vape? The vape pen. Yeah, yeah. Keep it cute. Why is y'all uh, pulling out a blunt behind me? I don't want to smell like that ridge. I'm just a, I'm just a weed nigga. That's why I said that. That's like, I, I love weed, but... But you got me attacked. I see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel you. I, I feel you, so. <laughs> All okay. right. We finna move on. Period. So, do you want to do the item of the week? I feel um, like... We'll, we'll save We're going to save the item... What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And we have a very exciting announcement today. We have a brand new show dropping. Yes, yeah, so we have a brand new show dropping, y'all, on Patreon. It's going to air on September 2nd, and it's called Poor Chronicles. We're going to be doing so much stuff on there. We're going to be doing challenges. If you can't go to Bella Noche, where the hell could you go? If you can't go to Bella Noche, where the hell could you go? <laughs> We're going to be doing Talk to me, chit chat with me. We're gonna be spilling a little tea. Hey. Oh my god. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh my god. Everything y'all been wanting to see, we're gonna be doing it right here on Patreon. Yes, y'all ask us for so much. Well, we finna give it to y'all every single Monday. And it's gonna be a time. Y'all know Poor Minds has grown into its own little entity. Well, we're gonna have a lot of fun still over here at Poor Chronicles. So make sure y'all tune in September 2nd. It's going down. Thanks. Okay, so let's say the item of the week. So now it's time to get into our favorite segment of the show, which is pour your heart out. You know, if you have any questions or testimonials, you can always send them in to askpoorminds at gmail.com. That's A-S-K-P-O-U-R-M-I-N-D-S at gmail.com. Send us your questions. Send us your testimonials, because sometimes y'all be saying we fuck y'all yeah. shit up. So I'm interested to know either way. Lil Jew, mm -hmm. 
Do you feel like you give good advice? I give great advice. Okay. I'm definitely a... Uh, know a little bit of something about everything type okay. of Okay. I'm, I'm one of these, like, in the middle of the night, I read Wikipedia and shit. Like, <laughs> I love Wikipedia. You be falling into the black hole. <laughs> yeah, I be doing I, this I will be three hours in the Wikipedia. And, you know, I hate when people say Wikipedia ain't real. That's yeah, me. they do be saying Man, that shit is real. I didn't pass <laughs> tests in college in high school off Wikipedia. I'm like, what are y'all talking about? That shit oh, real. I done got some valuable information myself. You know what I'm saying? I like, that I shit real. It. Hey. Okay. So question number one, mm -hmm. I'm 25 and I left my daughter's dad a year ago. I've been hesitant on getting back into the dating scene, but I need my coochie stretched for real. It's been almost a year since I've had sex and I'm new to hooking up. I'm scared to link up with anyone on these apps because I'm afraid of being catfish and chopped up. Any advice on navigating hookups? Thank you. Gentia. That's the name. I mean, we got, we got phones for a reason. Like, you don't have to immediately go to the hookup. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to, what we were talking about earlier, build a rapport. Mm. Build a rapport. You got to coordinate. I got to coordinate. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, that's what we got smartphones and shit mm -hmm. for. So, you know what I'm saying? Get to know somebody. Talk on the phone, FaceTime, text, before you just go get go get a nookie at. Okay, the that nookie nook at. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Wait, no, like, but I do feel like... What the... <laughs> post-nut clarity is real. It is. And it we is. need to stop getting... She's not what, talking about post-nut. But no, but I'm telling her the repercussions of her actions of just wanting to get... She got to know the nigga already before she just go like, get yeah, a nookie yeah, out. Girl, and, and, get you a vibrator and do your do, but build a rapport with somebody because you're going to be mad. We've seen this so many times. What did we talk about with Madam Joy? Mm -hmm. She was celebrating bit and she ended up having sex and she was mad about it so that happened so a lot of times it just be like it's not even worth it a lot of times i'd be like oh my god i'm so horny i want to do this and then i beat my meat i'd be like oh never mind i don't even like you same you don't even want to respond to the no. text <laughs> same. you know what i'm saying i ain't, you I ain't even been finna drive release. 45 minutes I'm wicked wicked and i'm good i ain't even got it in me and you know what i'm saying all you needed was that little release i mean that's no, true that dopamine hit to your brain yeah. that's all you needed that's what That's I'm saying. So I mean. feel like, don't pressure yourself. And I don't feel like I'm a good person or Lex is a good person to ask these questions because we've never... Well, no, I only mean because you we've never successfully use dating apps. Well, I've never used a dating app, What's period. Dating app? I don't think you've ever used the dating app. I, I know that, but I'm saying, like... I think Hinge, that's weird, but like Hinge, Bumble, like, yeah. you can't get no bitches that you have to get. I've never used one. <laughs> on the app. Like, yeah, I mean, no, they be getting them bitches they be, on they them be app. Married. They be linking up and plenty of fish. Yeah, that's Twitter, an app. Twitter, Instagram, Ooh. them is the apps. Like, why you need is to go download a separate but, app? But I'm saying, different for yeah. you. I'm saying even before I was little, you made to be. Maybe, oh, maybe it was these eyelashes. You, maybe it was eyelashes. You were delivering pepperoni and dick. <laughs> you know that right? <laughs> Ooh. Lasada dick. Okay. Yeah, just, hey. But I, I, I have never successfully <laughs> used the dating app myself. So I don't really feel like I'm the greatest person to ask these questions to. Because the swipe, I don't know what's the, the protocol. Right yeah. What's the swipe right? Tinder. Oh, Tinder. Tinder. Yeah, I don't know I the protocol. I remember one time when my... Um, my little shawty, she was on Tinder. My partner told me, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's Little shawty, little shawty on Tinder. I was like, I don't believe you. And then sure enough, she was on Tinder. Yeah, but mm -hmm. Being be Tinder. You dumped her after that? I sure did. You did. I didn't. Young <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> Looking too good. A, a little bit after that. I, I had to see what it's in for a couple more times first. I'm like, why is you putting this little shit on Tinder? But I was Nookie thinking, is I the crazy name. That need to be the name of the episode. I wonder if we'll get flagged for what? that Nookie. Nookie? Mm, I don't know, because it sounds like Cookie. They don't know. Yeah, they don't Nookie. know. But I'll say this. I did do a dating app. I did it for a couple of hours. My coworker at the hours. A couple of hours is crazy. And it was great. And I was like, oh, huh. I've always felt like people were like, I've always been confident about myself. Well, not always, but I'll say I always felt like I deserved when it comes to relationships. Maybe not confident about myself, but I always feel like I deserved a lot. Mm -hmm. So when it came to that app, and I'm not judging people who use the apps, um, but it just it wasn't a thing for me. Because I realized the type of attitude and personality that men have on that app was just not for me. 
Which yeah. App, which I, app was you on? Uh, I think it was Hinge. I think it was Hinge. I can't remember. And you say you it never was like used that. My, no, my, I, I, I have never in my life used a dating app. I've never signed up for one. For her. me, it's just <laughs> some, for me, it's just something about like. Granted, don't get me wrong. If you meet somebody in person and then y'all decide to go on a date together, technically they're still a stranger. Mm -hmm. But it's like I've met you. It's something about for me meeting somebody online. So how do you feel about Twitter and Instagram? Like, have you have you with anybody on Twitter or Instagram? I have, but the times that I have, it was people that somebody that I already knew. Okay, yeah, yeah. known them. Okay, yeah. Uh huh. Except for when? That fine ass nigga. Ooh. What's up, y'all? It's your girl XP. And it's your girl Dre and Nicole. And we are here to tell y'all about our brand new ebook and e course bundle, Pour Into Your Pod. Yes, y'all. We have been working on this for a while and we're so excited to put it out and give it to y'all because we know so many people have been asking us for such a long time about how to start a successful podcast. And we have literally put all of the information that we have and everything that we've utilized into this one ebook. Yes, and this is not your typical ebook because I know what a lot of y'all are thinking. Uh, 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 but I'm telling y'all, we give y'all direct access to how we built our brand. It's not no fluffiness and all that what I've read in ebooks before. This is an ebook that gets straight to the point and gives you all the direction you need to start your podcast today. Absolutely. And you can trust that we are putting 100% good information, no filter into this book. And it's going to help you build your brand and it shows you exactly how we built Poor Minds and made it into a six-figure company. So make sure y'all head to poorminds.com to purchase your ebook or the e-course. And we also have it available in a bundle for you so you can get both. Poorminds.com. Pour into your pod. Period. Anyways, I have never linked up with somebody in person from social media that I didn't know somebody that knew them in real okay, life that yeah. could vouch for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I just think it's a little... I didn't need a couple of scary. Like, social media link-ups. You didn't need a social media link-up? I'm a nigga. Yeah, it's easier for y'all. And I'm tall. Like, I look like a nigga nigga. Like, ain't nobody yeah, finna ain't fuck. Like, oh, he hoopy, bitch. Ain't nobody finna fuck with me for real. Like, even though like, I'm not the most intimidating looking nigga ever, I also don't look like I'm finna get my ass whooped either. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't I ain't going outside. Like, it ain't nothing I'm that. not going outside. Yeah. It be too much going on these days. I'm not trying to get my head chopped off, my clit. Yeah, it's, it's that different for y'all. It's different for y'all. It be a lot going on. It's some, it's some sick niggas out here. Now, I'm not going to lie. Have I met up on social media with somebody that, yes, I have, but mm -hmm. things were different then. Yeah. I, would like, I would never do that now. 2024 is different oh, no. right now. Yeah, now, back 20, then, that's what I said. I 2014? Man, what? Two years ago? Oh, man, what? We a over there. A nigga on his LinkedIn with a tie on? Yeah. I didn't, that's we enough there. research for me. Because I there. got a tie on, too. <laughs> 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 hey, twin. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the club with a tie on myself. The tie is crazy. I was. 2014, the prep, when everybody yeah. was prepping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We were business casual at the club. We was hot as hell Little in the club. Spender. Hot as Come hell. On, Hot as huh. hell. Okay, Hot as hell. So let us know what you got coming out, what we can expect in the next couple of months and all that good stuff. Um, Megan, um... Uh, you got some hot tea that we don't know about? Uh, deluxe. Oh, like we, We're going deluxe. Okay. Um... Rafa Nine for the come with bro. Nephew. That's, uh, our nephew. That's our nephew. Lola Brooke and Jeremiah finna come her next single. Okay. She finna go crazy. Uh, I'm just working though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm excited about 2024. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Megan album just dropped. Go I'm get excited that. about everything. Everybody go get that. Megan, stream can sites. You, can you, okay, final question. Can you tell Meg to come on for my Please. I'm gonna try my best. Yeah, y'all know. Tell her we not gonna be messy. We gonna I already fun. know y'all know. You know and what I'm saying? Fun time. And tell her we from Houston. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell her I remember her in the, in, in, tell her back dressing room at Dream. Back dressing room at Dream. I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna try to get on here for real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit her. I'm gonna yeah. hit her. I'm, and me and I'm dead ahead. DM'd each other before. Yeah. Oh, you didn't even tell that story. I don't. I don't need to tell that okay. story. <laughs> All right. It's a good story. It's it not a bad story. story. It's not a but bad I just don't feel But we'll like save it for whenever she come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Meg. We some hotties. Beehive. Lil Jew. Thank you so Lil much. Lil Jew High. Appreciate y'all. Is this the sign?
It might be. And it if might the be. beat live, you know, little juke made it. Thank you so much, Jewel. We'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all. Oh, y'all make sure y'all share the content, like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. And let me say this before we close out. Y'all, there is one Twitter account that is connected to Poor Minds. It's P O U R underscore M I N D S. Y'all are tagging the wrong Poor Minds page. If you see at Poor Minds with no underscore, that is a fake page. Do not follow that page, okay? They blocked me, Andrea, and the Poor Minds page on both. So we only have one Instagram, one Twitter, one TikTok. It is P O U R underscore M I N D S. All right? And we got a hella fake Facebook page. Oh, the Facebook pages. It's the our face. The crazy thing is our Facebook page actually have the least amount of followers. So if you on Facebook, the one that's ours got the least amount of followers. The one that's not us got like two hundred and fifty thousand followers. But y'all followers. know it's fake if you actually look at the content because the caption is like whoever it is don't speak English because their captions are like bumba clause. Should men should men pay bill? <laughs> should men pay bill? Yes, no. Check answer below. Block, block. <laughs> boya, boya, boya. Like, that's literally what the captions are. I like, like. you want that DDG Bomba Claw. Bomba Claw. I love that DDG. I got this feeling, and I just can't turn it loose. Yeah. And then somebody's been getting next to you. Yeah. I don't want to walk around knowing I was a young fool. Hey. Cause being a man that I am, I'm sorry, oh, excuse me. Just can't lose my cool. <laughs> my friends keep telling me about the things that's going on. Yeah. Deep in my heart, baby. Yeah. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that I'm wrong, but I know it, baby. Somebody sleeping in my bed. My bed. My bed. Somebody's taking my place. Baby. Somebody's sleeping in my bed tonight, baby. Somebody. Hold on. Hold on. me. Oh, this is different. Yeah. Oh, oh. I, I come on, Murray. Sing, Joe. Expecting your warm embrace. But something is wrong. Because <laughs> it's written all over your face. It hurts so bad when I walk. Through the door. Hey. But you know one damn thing, baby. <laughs> I ain't coming back no more. No, no, eh? Oh. Don't try to tell me <laughs> things are still the same. Yeah. Break it down. Because when we made love, Ooh. I heard you call his name. Call his name. Somebody <laughs> sleeping in my, my bed. bed tonight, baby. My bed. Somebody taking my place. Somebody sleeping in my bed. I gave you money, baby. Somebody taking my place. You are my girl, but, but you're still running out on me. Oh, yeah. Sleeping in my bed. Yeah, sleeping in my bed. Messing with my head. Oh, baby. Oh, tell me why, oh, why, oh, why. Why, oh, why, oh, why. Why, oh, why, oh, why. Messing with my head. 
Somebody take it my Cisco play. I don't know about y'all, but Lil Drew, you ain't that. Drew, Drew Hill. You truly love me. Uh-huh. All right. Guess this, this would not be happening. happening. Sleeping, Sleeping in, in my, my bed. bed. Messing with my head. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Somebody's taking my place. Why'd you do it to me? Why'd you do it? I don't be a fool no more. Sleeping in my bed. bed. Messing with my my head. Ooh. Ooh. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Shout out to Jew Hill.